Okay, <clears throat> we're going to look at a new data structure called a stack. A stack is a uh, efficient data structure for, for a few operations. Uh, if we look at the cheat sheet, uh, the stack is over here. And let's pay attention just to the insertion and the deletion. Um, it says that it has constant 0, 1 insertion and constant time uh, big O of 1 deletion. So here is what a stack looks like. Um, you can think of a stack as a, we usually draw them like this. You can think of it as a stack of uh, cafeteria trays. And uh, the stack has two operations. It has only two operations. It has an operation called pop and an operation called push. Now, if you're familiar with uh, JavaScript uh, arrays, you are probably, you've probably seen these things before, push and pop. Um, what push does is it effectively adds something to the end of an array, and what pop does is it adds, it uh, takes the last thing off the end of the array. Um, so, if, but uh, when we talk of them as a stack, um, remember that the, the JavaScript arrays, as, as you actually have them, um, they, they actually really do combine a lot of different features. Um, so the fact that they have push on pop on them, uh, it just makes our programming more convenient. So when we talk about um, stacks, we're going to say that uh, our stack is a class that really has uh, essentially four methods. Uh, let's see, we're, we're definitely gonna have push. Uh, we're definitely gonna have pop. Um, sometimes people say that a stack has something called uh, peak. Uh, where you can look at what's on the top of the stack. Um, pop removes it. Um, let's see. Adds. Um, removes. Adds to top. I'm going to say removes from top. Uh, the peak method just uh, looks at the top. And uh, we might have a method that says, you know, the size, and why not have something that says uh, is empty. So um, a stack uh, has all these methods, and it has really fast O of one constant time for the push and the pop, and for the peak, and for keeping track of the size. Uh, what the stack does not have is it does not have, let's see, no random access. So one thing that you cannot do is you cannot say that you have something like a stack and you cannot do something like ss at i equals 42 or x equals ss at i. Um, this is simply uh, not allowed. You do not have that on a stack. Uh, the only things you do have is the ability to uh, push things on it and the ability to pop things off. And it turns out that if you just push things on or pop things off, um, that's sufficient for certain problems. Um, in fact, a classic thing that a stack is really good at is um, keeping track of undo and redo operations. And uh, another really classic stack problem is, oh, uh, what is it? Um, sorry, I gotta think of this one for a second. Ah, oh, yeah, parenthesis matching. Um, parenthesis matching. Uh, this is basically for like a, a syntax highlighter. Um, whenever you have something that's like a parenthesis, a bracket, a parenthesis, what parenthesis matches meaning is it'll detect uh, that, that this is a well-balanced thing 
and it would uh, maybe draw attention if you had something that looked more like this. A parenthesis, a bracket, uh, and then like a parenthesis and a bracket. It might warn you that uh, these things are out of order. They're not as well balanced as they are over here. Um, another good thing that stack is used for um, is, uh, is function calls. Um, let's see, function uh, calls. So when we're in programming, if you ever have a, something like a, a stack trace, um, it, it, it's actually um, a stack is being used to keep track of how your functions are called. So this is basically the generics of what a stack is. And what we're going to investigate in this section is how to create a stack. Uh, we're gonna look at these problems that it's good at solving, um, but consider this really just an experiment in uh, using a data structure that really does restrict yourself. Uh, by restricting yourself to only pushing, only popping, only interacting with the top of a stack, uh, we're going to see that we can basically, well, we can just gain efficiency by restricting what we do with a data structure like the stack. Oh, 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 oh,